Hey guys, today you're going to learn how to replicate a really interesting color grading that is made specifically for nighttime photos. This tutorial is based on a request from one of our viewers who asked how to recreate the look from Tom Blatchford's Nihon Noor project. I really like the look and if you like to shoot nighttime cityscapes, then you have to try this out. By the way, for those of you who are new to my channel, if you have any requests, just leave a comment below and I'll take a look at it. Anyways, we're going to be replicating this look with just the calibration and tone curves. There's also free Lightroom presets and profiles that you can download. So if you're interested, keep watching and I'll show you how it's done. Before we begin, I just want to let you know that you can download free Lightroom presets and profiles inspired by this effect. The Lightroom profiles will only work with Lightroom CC, but you can adjust the opacity from 0 to 200%. You will also get Lightroom presets that will allow you to edit these settings and they're compatible with older versions of Lightroom. There's also a Pro version that you can upgrade to. First of all, thank you so much for your support if you upgrade to a Pro version. I appreciate it very much. In the Pro version, you will unlock all 14 Lightroom profiles and presets that I've personally styled to give you a good variety of effects to choose from. In addition, the Lightroom presets are fadeable so that you can pick something lighter or stronger. By the way, all of these Lightroom presets are compatible with LR Toolkit. LR Toolkit is a workflow system that's also great for modifying presets to get the exact look you want. You can learn more about it at lrtoolkit.com. But whether you use these presets or not, I still highly recommend that you follow this tutorial because it's going to be a great learning experience. First, we're going to use the calibration settings to shift the colors and essentially create a simpler color palette. To do this, scroll all the way down to the calibration section. Start by setting the green here to plus 100, and then set the green and blue saturation to minus 100. This will desaturate most of the colors except for the reds. To make the reds pop, set the red saturation to plus 100. Now your photo should have a simpler color palette that emphasizes the red. Next, we're going to add a blue tint. The easiest way is to do it in the split toning section. Simply set the hue to around 220 and saturation to 100%. But there's also another way which will give you slightly better results and it's also very easy to do. We're going to be using the tone curves. If you don't know how to use the RGB tone curve, I highly recommend learning it because it's one of the most powerful and useful tools you can learn. I will have some links to the tone curve tutorials in the video description, which you can watch afterwards. But for now, just follow along. In the tone curve section, make sure that you're in the point curve mode, which you can switch to by clicking on this button here. Switch to the blue channel and lift the bottom left node upwards, which will tint the shadows blue. Next, switch to the red channel and drag the bottom left node towards the right to reduce some of the reds in the shadows. And you can go back and forth between the red and blue channels to fine tune the effect. Finally, if you want to give your photo that dim look, switch back to your RGB channel and drop the top right node. To brighten the midtones, but still keep that dim look, just add a point in the middle and drag it upwards. To add contrast, Add a node in the shadows here and drag it downwards to create an S curve. And you're done! Here's how the image looks like before and after. Here are some before and after examples with different variations. What you just learned in this tutorial was just a starting point. There's a lot more you can do to customize it towards your own style. I recommend that you play around with the other settings, especially the vibrance, hue, saturation, and luminance. Don't forget to download the free Lightroom presets which you can use to see what I've done to create different variations. Hey, thank 
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please wanna hit the like button. Now, you might have noticed that we create this very strong effect with very few settings. And that's something I'm always trying to show people, that you don't always need to bring your photo into Photoshop or use a ton of developed settings. It's always better to keep your edits simple. By the way, if you have any requests, just leave a comment down below with links to examples and I'll check it out. But if you want to learn how to do this yourself, I have a two-part series on how to replicate looks. The first part will teach you how to replicate tones and the second part will teach you how to replicate colors. It's the same technique that I use in most of my tutorials, including this one, uh, and you can find the links in the video description below. Anyways, I hope you have an amazing day. Feel free to leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video.